welcome back. Today we are doing another PhD travel vlog. And this trip I am in Vancouver, Canada. I'm here for the Western Political Science Association conference. I am presenting in this one, the last, I think, conference vlog that I merged with my dissertation diaries video. I wasn't actually presenting, I was just co-facilitating a pre-conference workshop. But this one I actually am presenting. I still have not finished my presentation. I don't know if you can sense a theme with me. <laughs> Otherwise I feel okay, I'm just kind of tired. It's been a lot of traveling this month. And honestly, like the last couple months, there's been like a decent amount of travel, but I am excited to be here. I haven't been back to Vancouver, Canada since 2014. So it's actually been 10 years since I've been back here. Wow, that's wild. I'm old. Flew out from Boston at 11 a.m. And then I flew to Seattle, which was funny because I was felt like I was just there two weeks ago, but I flew back into SeaTac and then I had a little bit of a layover, maybe like an hour because our flight got delayed, but then took the plane from Seattle to Vancouver. And that flight was like less than an hour. There was no beverage service or anything. Let me show y'all the hotel room tour. Of course, we have to do one every time. Okay, when you first walk in, you have a hallway. Turn right. You can see where I was just sitting over there. Over here we have a closet with a safe. And then this, I think maybe is the mini fridge. Yes, Keurig or basically a Keurig. <laughs> Here is the bathroom. The bathroom's also very nice. This reminds me a lot of hotels in Asia. Close up mirror as well. Some body lotion. We have a nice shower. And then we have body wash, shampoo, conditioner. And then coming out of the bathroom, we have the beds we have a nice chair really huge windows and a really nice desk too this is great this view is really nice okay so phone is charging i've moisturized my hands i'm hydrating we're making progress i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do tonight and i need to make a decision soon before it gets too dark. After much deliberation, I finally decided to go eat dinner at a place called Salmon and Bannock, one of Vancouver's only, if not the only, First Nations restaurant. The place itself was really cozy and their drink list included indigenous crafted wines and beers. I can't really drink that much, so they were kind enough to give me half pours of two different wines so that I was able to try more. They also presented me with some children's books to read that were written by the founder and owner of the restaurant. My food was taking a little bit longer, so they gave me some candied salmon on the house, which was very nice of them. I also got the game sampler, the sausage dinner, and of course, some bannock. Everything was delicious. My Uber driver even commented that the food smelled good when I got in, and I definitely recommend going if you're in Vancouver. I am back at the hotel, a little bit red. I didn't even finish all the wine. I'm feeling just really tired, so I think I'm just gonna get ready for bed and try to go to sleep and then wake up early. I'm gonna shower and then I will See y'all in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's 6.15. I woke up at 5.45, did my skincare and watched a vlog. And now I'm gonna get started with this presentation. <laughs> <sighs> I'm also getting hungry, but I don't think anything is really open. Some cars, but I think I'm just gonna eat my snacks. And I have some bread from the dinner last night that I will eat to just keep me full until I can go get some coffee. So let's get started. <laughs> I am 
I think making good progress. I'm trying to stay focused. Sometimes I really struggle with keeping my brain on task, but I'm using kind of the bare bones of a presentation I did la two years ago at this point, two years ago, yeah, in Baltimore, the peach travel vlog that I did. So I'm using the bare bones of that, which I think is helping just remind myself to keep it simple, keep it tight, and then we can have a good discussion afterwards. I also have my, but not bannock. I forgot the pronunciation, but I have my bread from last night. It smells like the food and I really want to eat the food, but I just don't know. I don't know how it's going to taste like cold. I think you're working. down a little first though. <laughs> okay y'all time to go find the check-in <laughs> it's literally i need to leave i have 20 minutes wish me luck we did it another presentation down that was honestly nerve-wracking several debacles apparently i didn't actually register for the conference i only purchased a membership i'm very annoyed because i had to pay 300 something dollars to register for the conference and then i was almost late to the panel but in general it went well i feel a little it was intimidating because i'm not a political scientist and I was in a room with a bunch of political scientists and I was also in a room with a bunch of Asian American political scientists or people who are focused on Asian American politics. And I've never really been in an academic space like that before. So it felt very, I'm used to people not knowing what to like, what to give feedback on about my topic, unless it's like more generally speaking. So this time the feedback was helpful, but I, there's more of a like sense of, oh, they can, they can kind of parse through the BS, you know, because they actually know. But in general, people were really nice and I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> I'm just glad it's over and I'm so hungry and I need to move because I've just been sitting around this whole day working on my presentation. So yeah, I'm going to change and I'm going to go probably try to find a cafe and just walk around and explore before it gets dark. <laughs> outing it was a nice adventure i did want to show all of you some of the stuff i got while i was out in chinatown first thing i got was from a shop called decolonial clothing and it was right by when i stopped to go get, eat dinner it was right by there and so i kind of walked in the person who worked there was super nice and you know, obviously wanted to support their shop so i got this shirt it has um, this right here stands for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women. And then it says Justice right here. So basically Justice for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women. And then I was looking for like a sweet dessert. I stopped at this really cute macaron place. 
I have to show, I'll put a picture here of like their full spread that they had. I really wish they shipped to the US. They don't for a variety of reasons, understandably so. Y'all know I love macarons, I love a good macaron. And look how cute. So I got six, which like excessive. Pikachu, I believe this is a mango flavor. Mr. Totoro from my neighbor Totoro. So what is this? Like the soot, the little soot creatures from Spirited Away. A no face. Whoa, he's holding gold. Wait. Oh my gosh. I also got this. It's so cute. Let's give her a try. Definitely lemon flavor. No. Ooh, look at the poof. <laughs> I just got back from coffee with my external committee member. It was really nice to just have a chance to talk to her outside of the conference activities. She just left. We only had like about an hour to catch up, but it was nice anyway. And I appreciate her for making time. It was kind of nice because I feel like I haven't really done that with any, any professors before. And I'm like, oh, is this what mentorship is like? I don't know. <laughs> now it's almost 10. Checkout is going to be in three hours. And I feel like if I want to go see something i need to do it now also had a fantasy that i was going to exercise which i think i feel like i'm going to need to choose if i go see something else or if i exercise <laughs> is there room is looking neat i think and i'm gonna go try to get some poutine i don't know if i'm gonna really have time so i have to stay close to the hotel because it's already almost it's 11 44 and i have to check out in an hour so we're gonna see what's around hopefully get some poutine maybe some more coffee <laughs> Thank you. 